Uh, CNO is the number one place to learn occlusion. And I, I mean joint based occlusion. Because it's measured. It's measured. Measured does matter. Okay, so CNO3, what was it like? What'd you guys think? Boy, very informative. Very informative. What'd you learn, for real? Oh my gosh. Saw patients, you saw a radiologist, we talked to Piper. Mm -hmm. What else we do? Gosh, reading the MRIs, CAT scans, very educational, things that you would never expect to learn in dentistry, right. which I think everybody should learn all over the world. And I, again, I was fortunate because I also had Dr. Alfred here. Not only did I have Dr. Nick, I had Dr. Alfred to learn from. Amazing. This, so, this was incredible. It really is because, for several reasons. Number one, the more exposure we get to these different things that we've never seen in dentistry, the better we are at diagnosis. And the reason we do this, or doing this, is to learn why. And when we learn why we can diagnose effectively, we can treat effectively. And dentistry has not come to the fruition that, the, that it needs to be in reference to the temporal mandibular joint and TMD imaging. Inclusion in general. In device, inclusion in crowns, general. Well, in fact, it is so <laughs> undertrained. In fact, Gordon Christensen said it well. He said, We over treat teeth, we under treat the periosteum or the mm -hmm. periodontal tissues, and we do not treat the occlusion. He stated that in his CR newsletter. Mm -hmm. And here at CNO3, we addressed virtually every issue the sympathetic issue, the cervical issue the temporal mandibular joint, joint-based occlusion. We talked to some of the best experts in the world, and wouldn't you agree that talking to Mark Piper was like so enlightening, yeah, it was incredible? It was he answered incredible. virtually every question. Mm -hmm. And with the expertise of Nick, who's been doing this for five years now, taking uh, DTR to a completely new level of understanding has made me a better, I really will make me a much better clinician when my patients come in with all these issues that they've been diagnosed with many, many times incorrectly. And I really believe we're going to be able to find solutions for these people. We've been looking at scans and more scans for what, 22 hours? Yeah. But it, you know, after 30 years of dentistry, finally, finally, you know, I think we, we, we have it figured out. It's joint based. Terry said it perfectly. And I second everything that he And I learned said. that from Mark Piper. Teeth are connected to the mandible. I was blown mm -hmm. away with mm -hmm. his presentation this morning and I asked him personally, could I come spend a month with him? Because I felt like he gave us such a tremendous education in just a matter of an hour. But I am so happy to have come here. I'm so happy to have um, gained the knowledge. It has nothing to do with certification or, or anything of that nature. It has everything to do with my personal ability to take it back to my office and present my patients with a better doctor. And that's where I'm going to be. The most yeah. interesting thing, too, is your first patient with all the posterior contact yeah. being out of pain. Yeah, so let's talk about that real mm -hmm. quick. So we're breaking all the rules with the DTR, aren't we? Contrary to DTR, it's and fascinating. And look who's no longer in pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, finding treatment position. See, that's another thing no one does. Yeah. you got to find treatment position. Based so that, on the scan. Based on the scan, you know, you got an image. Mm -hmm. And based on the scan, the treatment position is where we recaptured that that meniscus and the recapture in the meniscus that's where you got to treat the patient to you right. cannot you can't do a hundred percent subtractive dentistry right. you just can't it's do not it always MIP no oftentimes it is but maybe that was proven not. this weekend mm -hmm. it Big certainly time. was proven this weekend Big you gotta time. you gotta stay on top of this game or you lose so any advice to just normal dentists this imaging course the sympathetics cervical sympathetic and trigeminal inputs right Yes. Mm -hmm. That's like ingrained in your head forevermore. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. All TMD patients have cervical, sympathetic, and trigeminal inputs. And most of our patients that we're doing crown and bridge on, for example, or lots of endo, broken teeth, what have you, the general dentistry that keeps us paid, a lot of them, if not most of them, are TMD patients. We don't get enough occlusal understanding in school. Oh, I would, I would uh, tell every dental student in the United States of America throughout the world, you need to learn occlusion. And you what need, better way to learn than the CNO? You, that's right. The yeah. C, the, the, there is no other place. Uh, CNO is the number one place to learn occlusion. And I, I mean joint-based occlusion. Because it's measured. It's measured. Measured does matter. It's no matter. It's not subjective at all. It's definitively objective. And with objective data, 
you can treat your patients. And we don't have anything like that. Very true. And there's not one organization that actually covers it in as much detail as CNO. And I think all universities should be involved too. Somehow. Oh, I think so too. The, the, the dental mm -hmm. students are not getting this data. Exactly. And they're stepping outside of dental school and they're learning old technology. They're mm -hmm. using articulating paper without knowing what it, how, where, how much time. They're not mm -hmm. learning anything. And they're not even taking into consideration the hinge at all. There's two yeah. hinges connected to the right. entire they're, le they're leaving out 66% of the occlusal requirements yep. and all the disease that goes with it. Yep. Was, was you it know? Piper or one of you guys mentioned it's 20th century dentistry? being taught in the 21st century. You don't have to image every patient, but you have to diagnose every patient. Bingo. And you have to know why. Proper diagnosis. The why comes before the how and the what. And the what, that's, that's exactly, exactly right. You're right. Yeah. I think everybody should be members of the CNO, or at least mm. get CNO information. All right, Terry, and Terry said it, you know, he thinks that the young kids coming out of school should jump on it Can you imagine now. if we knew this when we first got out of school? Oh my gosh. What a difference it'd make for our patients and our yeah. success rates and the frustration all the non-specific pain we yeah. can figure out. And right. the people that don't look for eight years for a solution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. Decades, many times. Decades. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank Go you. Go to the much. CNO. CNO.